My name is Phil Kelly, and I am the director of this broadcast. Thank you all so much for coming and being a part of our show today. And to those of you who have been with us before, welcome back. After the success of last year's main stage debut, I'm looking forward to seeing how we do this year. As you all enter the studio, don't forget to scan the QR code on the screen to access the audience website. From there, you'll be able to participate in our contestant selection process. Read over the rules, access the Ask Audience lifeline, and please make sure you keep this website open on your device throughout the entire show. So, unless we have some kind of chaotic interruption, like we did last year, that should go smoothly. I'll be right back in a little bit to go over our studio audience rules and regulations. Once again, thank you for joining us. We'll be going live in just a few minutes.
please be advised of the following rules specific to my little goby there. To ensure the integrity and fairness of the game, please do not shout out any answers or give hints of any kind to the contestant. Thank you for your attention and enjoy the show. Attention, this is a sensory sensitivity warning. Today's production will make use of haze and theatrical lighting effects, including brief sequences of strobing lights. Those who may be sensitive to these effects should use caution. Thank you. All right, folks. Thank you all for your attention. We'll be going live in a few minutes. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. exciting, most dramatic television program that I or you or anyone else has ever seen. This crowd is going crazy here. And the reason to be excited because they could go from their audience seat to our hot seat in a matter of seconds. We are terribly excited about this show. The technology, the music, the lights, the human drama, even this audience gets us crazy. What a night this is going to be. And now that you're all here and not going to make In 2014, a game show was created. A small idea posted from a bedroom at home. Many years later, that game show has become a phenomenon. We think the Brony Panda. But so far, we have not had anybody win the grand prize at a convention. Today, two of our audience members will take the stage for their chance to make history. But the question is, do they have what it takes? There's only one way to find out. From Harleycon in Dallas, Texas, this is My Little Millionaire! Welcome your host, Bobby Sees. How's it already February again? I, I feel like it just did this last year. I mean, I did, but I felt like it was a lot sooner than that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to My Little Millionaire! We are so excited to be back here on the main stage at HarmonyCon. We have a fantastic show in store for you all. Now, if y'all remember last year, the 10th anniversary, our debut on the main stage, I think that went pretty well, right? Yeah. All right, well, we're hoping to 
that we can top that, even though it's not a special anniversary edition. So last year, we had some prizes that were available, and we've got some more prizes available to our contestants this year. Would you like to see what they are? All right. In order to earn these prizes, our contestants are going to have to answer 15 multiple choice questions all about My Little Pony and the Brody community. You know those three of those questions are highlighted in white. If you can answer five questions correct, you will earn a millionaire mini poster, which is literally the other posters I've been distributing throughout the convention. <laughs> if you could get 10, actually no, you know, I just remembered. Uh, my dear friend Little Shy also donated something, so I'm gonna give it away five questions. How about a plushie? I believe these are Symbiote Studios, one of 500. So these are some rare ones. If our contestants can answer 10 questions correct, they will win a HarmonyCon prize pack. You will win one of these bags here, which contains a bag, a poster, let's see what else we got. We got a lanyard, a pen, and the slap bracelets. Finally, the big one. If we have history, and if we have the very first billionaire winner on the show, they will win a lead singer badge to next year's Harmony on free of charge. But that's not all. We also have another generous donation from one of my friends, Tootsie Forever, fellow community guest. Shout out to Tootsie for making this happen. Folks, this is big. If you thought the uh, if you thought the badge was cool, just wait until you find out that if come on, <laughs> if our contestants win the grand prize, they will win three hundred dollars in cash. <laughs> and though, yes, I counted. This is actually three hundred dollars. Probably the most money I've ever found in my life. Now, in the exceedingly rare event that we have two millionaire winners, we will split it evenly, 150 each. In the event that we don't have any millionaire winners, uh, I have $300 and I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> so, you know, we'll figure it out. But with all that out of the way, I think it's time we bring one of you up here. Alright, so folks, it's time for the fastest finger. Open up your device. Open up the My Little Millionaire website that you got from that QR code. You gotta go to the menu and find the contestant selection page. Go ahead and write down your name in there. The way this is going to work is you're going to see a question on screen with four answers. You will need to put those four answers into the correct order. If you are the first person to submit the correct order, you will be brought up here on stage. Now, quick note, please do not step on these speakers to get on stage. Instead, you will come around the side of this screen over here, and there's a staircase right here that you will come up on stage. Everyone ready? Oh, come on, y'all can do better. I said everyone ready? All right, here is your fastest speaker question. Put these G4 episodes in the order they appear, starting with the earliest. You have 20 seconds. Good luck. Dragia, 28 times later, Wonder Girls Academy, Princess Spike. Responses. <laughs> All right. So it's C 
P-A-D-D. Let's see who got that right. Oh, okay, I see it. C-A-D-B. Where is Joe P. Cool 14? Great, keep going. 
I am. Here is your next question. Can I send a shout out to the AV team? I love the live. In the episode Leap of Faith, which antagonist made their first appearance since season one? Gilda, Nightmare Moon, the Flim Flam Brothers, Prince Blue Blood. Yeah, since season one. They came, this is their first appearance since season one. Yes, I'm sure. I, I looked on the wiki. The wiki doesn't lie. If it does, I'm terribly sorry, but... I am sure sure about that. No, no, they're the main antagonist in this episode. Did someone mention the Flim Flam Brothers? Oh, God. Hey, we just let ourselves in the studio because like we said before. How did you be a how did you get back in here? Oh, 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 we know where we leave. <laughs> oh, it's the Prince. Okay, well, they're ready to stage lab. Have a good one. Good luck on your question. So, what do you think the answer is? <laughs> yeah, I'm just as confused as you are. I don't know what's happening. Alright, I'm gonna go with C. Final answer? That is my final answer. Well, they did interrupt us, but that is correct. Alright. Alright. Here comes your next question for $10,000 bits. Submitted by Taylor McCardle. Also pointing out, this is not a Starlight Liver question. In the G5 Secrets of Starlight Special, what did the protagonist throw to break Alora's spells? Yarn, snowballs, glitter, sparky. I haven't seen much of G5. Well, you've got three live lines and your second chance. It might be time to use one of those. I think I'm gonna phone a friend. Alright. So, is there anybody here in the audience specifically that you want to talk to? Or not, just pick a random person? <laughs> Somebody, you better watch oh, a lot of G5. Well, if you don't have a friend in the audience, I... No, I actually saw that episode. <laughs> Would you like to vote Discord then? Oh, I don't want to trust Discord. <laughs> Trust me or not, I do personally know this. Should I trust this for him? She was raising her hand pretty high. She was, yes. I, 
I don't think she's trying to sabotage. This is what I hope. I am going to go with snowballs. Final answer? That is my final answer. Hey, good job out there. Discord. Yeah, uh, Discord. All right, here comes the next question for 12,500. Submitted by another community guest, Vivid Syntax. In the episode of Questier Games, which of these ponies was not a member of the Cloudsdale Relay Team? Spitfire, Clear Skies, Fleetfoot, Thorin. I'm gonna go with B, Clear Skies. Final answer? That is my final answer. Y'all are clapping way too early. <laughs> we have to get to the news today. I have not seen the show, or the show this is based on, the, the, the Human World spinoff. Let's move on to the next question for $15,000 bet. Yes, it's bets, right? Love it. Fans made a question from Gage. That's you. Who was the voice of Discord in Pony Life? Andrew Francis, Bill New, Z Tokar, Peter New. I 
can we do some 50-50 on this one? You know that did happen last year where they did 50-50 and they've gotten the wrong answer. And I wonder what the answer is. Do you want to do the 50-50? Because remember, you can only use it once. Yes, that is true. So there's a second chance first. Well, no, the second chance is automatic. Nice. Let's use the 50-50. All right, computer, please take away two of the wrong answers. You're left with the century or better one day. I'm going to go with C, metamorphosis. Final answer? I don't know, there's some negative response to the crowd there. You should show me this. It's not going to be funny. Please do not give the answer any comments to our contestants. Thank you. Well, <laughs> uh, you already heard them, so what do you want to say? I'm going to have to switch it to be seven <laughs> Let's take a look.
around the way, but with no more light lines, you're on your own. You ready? I'm ready. I'm not thin ice, but I'm ready. Here we go. Here's your next question. Another fascinating question from Vivid Syntax. As revealed in the Siege of the Crystal Empire comic book, what kind of creature did King Sombra begin line at? Umbra, Shadow Alicorn, Crystal Pony, Aurora Corn? Of course it's the comics. Oh, 
got it? We're, 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 we're here to talk about convention. What? Hi, Jim. These people smell lovely. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. 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 I'm sor
take a look at those crack dances. Starting at the first, that was the New York State Seminar Conference Center, Hotel Pennsylvania, Netherlands Exposition Center, Baltimore Convention Center. Yes, I heard that. BCAD, that is correct. Where is, uh, is this refresh? No, it's not. No, I gotta do that thing again. I gotta open this car. There we go. Oh my god, 181 total responses. Counting last round. So let's take a look and see who got BCAD. Okay, I see a, I just see a B. <laughs> oh, so close. BCDA? BCAD, I found it. Fritz slash Hard Question 
I'm sorry, the thumbnail for the next question just popped up. This is uh, the face. If you get this next question right, you'll get the poster and the Twilight Sparkles that may have blush. Oh boy. Ladies and gentlemen, behold the horrors. As